Hello YouTube. I just wanted to show you how I'm using my IKEA LAC enclosure as a drying box for the filament. So basically what I've done, I've got a little hygrometer that you can see back in there. It says that the current relative humidity in there is about 27% and the temperature in there is about 93 uh, degrees Celsius. Well, let's compare that to everything just outside. And we're up here, this is Missouri, so we're at about 37% humidity, uh, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh wait, was that one Fahrenheit? Looks like it was, so that's Fahrenheit. Um, and that's pretty consistent. I've got a few more of these things sitting around here as well, and they're all reading pretty similar readings. So, I like to try to keep the filament pretty dry and I like to try to keep it below 30. Uh, but in any case, these ones were in a little box and it was reading up almost at 40%. And that's because it was a very humid winter, excuse me, summer. And going into winter here, the humidity and the, just the air just in the room and stuff like that is dropping. So what I've done is I've just got the doors closed and I've got a little uh, G code file that I'm running and it turns the heat bed temperature up. I'm setting it at 100 degrees Celsius. And then at the same time, it turns on the little cooling fan in there that normally blows on the filament. I had this at one point blowing in the center of the heat bed. The whole idea of that fan is just to try to circulate the air throughout the enclosure, uh, but it kept giving me thermal runaway errors because it couldn't keep the bed hot enough while that fan was blowing directly on it. So just by having it blowing off to the side, it's just keeping the air circulating in there. And as you can see, it is dropping the humidity in there because we've gone from 37 out here down to 27 in there. Uh, when you do this, you don't want to completely cover the, the bed. You want to uh, leave the bed at least partially exposed so that it can get that heat to go all throughout the entire environment so that it can heat up the entire chamber in here. What's pretty neat about this is that after it's done, I could, if I just left everything in here or I take the filament out and then I just leave everything in here, it stays relatively dry in there for a couple of days. I came back after a three day weekend and it was still about 8% uh, drier in there than it was outside. Let's see, what do I do next? So the script, so that it just doesn't time out, I have a G4 G code command that makes it sleep for a period of time. So it's going to, in this case, it's waiting for about six hours. And then at the very end, it plays a little song using the little guy right there. And it does not turn off the heat bed. It just sits there at that point. And then after 30 minutes, if I didn't hear the song after 30 minutes, it would turn itself off due to a timeout. Uh, but at the end of this, I could then just run another little file with G code that turns the heater off, turns the fan off, and then I can come over here and get everything out and put them all back in their boxes. But there it is. Simple little trick for you. Hope you enjoy it. 